Hello, soul tribe, my spiritual warriors, little earth angels. I am, um, well, welcome to my channel, Spiritual Guidance 1111. Uh, it's after midnight, so it's it actually it's 147. And we are going to be busy most likely today. So I'm going to do a reading now. And if I can't do a reading later today, Please, I'll, we'll, uh, I'll get to it as soon as I can. We are going to do, um, I have prayed over the cards already, and I am finishing up. I've shuffled a couple of decks. I'm finishing up with my tarot, and what I am going to do is do uh, three uh I'm going to try to do three pyramid spreads, 15 card pyramid spreads. Uh, oh, let's see. We're going to, uh, and then my last deck will be the tarot. That will most likely clarify any questions we have about. Uh, speaking of questions, I do have a couple, and there's some things that I need to address because, uh, anyway. We're going to address. Um, hmm. What else? Read my description, please. Um, and go to the links that I have on there. Uh, there are. I have a, a, a new link on there, which is Cher. Uh, she is unbelievable. She is uh, delightful to listen to and to watch. When she's live, she takes uh, questions, and um, she is awesome. Uh, Mystic Beauty, uh, I Kev, I have uh, Retro, uh, Enlightened Auntie, which is Tam. I love Tam. She is a unbelievable, talented reader. Uh, they, and uh, uh, most of them, uh, if not all of them, uh, they do personal reading so you can get with them uh, and of course ICAV and uh, Mystic Beauty I, I, I'm not I'm not sure there's Queenie on there they they have uh, like stores they sell cards whatnot so check them out yeah, it's, uh, I appreciate all of the subscribers like shares comments I love each and every one of you I really appreciate the support. Thank you so much. And I believe in supporting others. That's why I add those links to my channel because I believe in helping those that, um, you know, once you get to a, a, a substantial amount of, of subscribers and views, then obviously they, you know, you're doing well. But when you start off out the gate, had Mystic Beauty not picked me up and plugged me, I don't think I would be where I'm at now. Uh, it's just, I'll, the truth is, I don't think I would be where I'm at. I owe her a lot. I owe her a debt of gratitude. And I am very thankful. We are going to start our reading. And this deck is the Soul Journeys Oracle. And uh, like I said, we're going to start with a base card. Base card is friendship. I have shuffled both of them all in fact all three of my decks that i'm going to use friendship and uh, i don't read just one card relationship something to do soul tribe um i did ask the holy spirit to deliver us a message that we need we often wish we had a message that we want because we desire things in in messages that uh Sometimes we don't like to hear what it says. Other times, and I'm going to tell you, this may not resonate with anyone, uh, or with everyone, I'm sorry. This may not resonate with everyone. Of course it won't. But for those that it resonates with, then you take what resonates and leave the rest. It's that easy. And I hope you enjoy the reading. We'll continue. Friendship and relationship. Uh, love. Yes. Obviously, this is going to, this is turning out to be a, 
a uh, and I know that I'm gonna get me some comments that say they ain't doing it. No, I ain't doing it. I ain't getting involved with no relationship. I ain't getting involved with. I can I can I can picture one right now that often tells me that in comments ain't gonna happen. Yes, and there's nothing wrong with that. If you don't want it to happen, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. But there are those out there that are looking and they do want, and this is obviously going to resonate with them, I assure you. You, this is this is going, I think this may come out of a friendship group. And this friendship group, someone in this friendship group is going to turn into a relationship, a love relationship. This person will. Um, this is going to be you are going to fall in love with someone within that friendship group and that friendship group could be whatever the case is a, a, a bunch of friends a church group a a work related friendship i have many friends at work i have many past uh work meaning that we don't work together anymore. Still friends. Still friends. And when I say friends, I mean I talk to them. We, we talk back and forth. Very, and some of them are some very good friends. A couple of them that I know they are very good friends. Don't have a whole lot, do. I have more friends on, on YouTube than I have really anywhere. Honesty. Whoever this person is, they are going to be honest. They are an honest individual. Yes, you you are, and you should expect honesty within a relationship because it says friendship, relationship, and honesty. You should expect honesty in a friendship, in a relationship. Balance. Balance falls next to honesty and splits the two cards, relationship and love. This person is going to be whoever this is, whoever we are talking about, is going to be very balanced. They balance their relationship in love. They know what love is. They know that love takes commitment and sacrifice. All of those, those things that involve love, this person is going to know. This is going to be, for you, I think, a a huge surprise compared to what you are used to or what you have been through put it that way I think you have been through a <laughs> I think you've been through a ringer uh, let's see with trust oh yeah you'll be able to trust this person perhaps you you couldn't trust the last person that you were with or it was that type of a relationship that um, it was tough you know you 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 wish you could trust people, you know. I mean, hell, you can't. Sometimes you can't trust family. So, with that being said, uh, yes, honesty, balance, and trust, and this falls right on top of love. It does not split a card. It falls right on top of love. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lonely. Reminds me of a saying. This right here. This trust in this love card. This reminds me of this saying. You don't always trust the people that you love. But you love the people that you trust. Yep. Absolutely. This person has... Who, whoever this is that you're going to become interested in, that you're going to get into a relationship with. And this is a re friendship relationship type of deal. This, this spread is going towards, unless this changes big time, uh, unless this changes, this is a love relationship spread 
I know this is bad news for you, but like I said, I know that y'all, some of y'all is like, no, nope, ain't happening. And that's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I love to read the comments, I'm telling you, they're like, shh, be hard on me. Uh, mm -mm. <laughs> Reminds me of one comment. <laughs> said, ain't gonna be no relationship unless it's you, Captain Marine. <laughs> can't be me, boo. I'm sorry, can't be me. Huh. Hot damn it. I'm taken. My bride, she won't let, she keeps me on a short leash. Mm -mm. No, my bride, she's like, mm -mm. come here, boy. And then when she do let me loose, she put me on a shock collar. She hits that collar every once in a while. Hey, whoa, look out, girlfriend. Wait. <laughs> uh, no, she, my bride, she knows I love her. Isn't um, yes, this person was lonely. This person, I think this person went through some type of similar situation that you possibly have went through. And that may be what, uh, brought you together. Maybe you began to talk and, and through communication, you are like, wow, we got a lot in common. Sometimes that's all it takes. Yeah, this person went through some, some hurt big time hurt this person like you this person and that's why this person is so hard on honesty balance and trust they got those issues too just like you you have those issues they have those issues also so they would never do to you what was done to them this is not one of those fanatics that believe hurt people hurt people they won't hurt you this person is not going to hurt you no they they are patient they don't get no hurry they're not no hurry they why get in a hurry you know um mm -hmm. falls on top of balance and trust discipline this person is disciplined. They, they, when I, and when I say discipline, it's a discipline and all, who let this person go? That's what I want to know. That's the person I want to meet. Who let this son bitch go? Because you made a huge mistake. If that's the case, you let this person go. That is honest, balanced, and trustworthy. Well, you know, just those three qualities alone. Where you gonna find? I mean, whoa. You, most of the time, if you happy, if you find just one. <laughs> yes, you find just one, and then you gotta teach the other two. This person got all three, and then on top of that, they got pay, they're patient. They don't get shook up. They don't get pissy. They don't get. They're like, okay, cool. We got time. We got time. Go shop. And they discipline, financial discipline, spiritual discipline, emotional discipline. They got it. This this is like a package deal. If you latch on to this cat, you better hold on tight. That's empath. This dude is an empath. Empathy. Whoever this and I say dude, I mean this this is non gender split. This this could be ma'am, sir, miss, mister. This this is non-gender specific. So please, y'all, don't be just tired me up with the comments about um because <laughs> I've had it before talking about, you know, I'm hard on 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 chicks. No, no, I love chicks. Mm, not sure. My favorite thing is fried chicken. What you talking about? <laughs> no. No. I can't be hard on you. I got, I got two daughters. Yeah, what you mean? Really? This person is empathy. They got it. They got it. They feel. They. This person would not hurt you because they feel the pain of others. They 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 don't want to. They don't want to hurt other people. They they do not want to. That's why this person is lonely. It falls right on top of lonely. 
friendship, relationship, honesty, lonely, empathy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bet you that I, I, I'm going to have to go through the deck, but they probably got some narcissistic asshole card in this, in this deck too. And that didn't fall. Empathy fell. This person, I'm telling you, this is whoever this is. If this is a a female, and it could be, it, it doesn't have to be feminine or masculine. It, you better latch on to her. The only thing we ain't came out yet is she can cook. Be like, damn, girlfriend can cook a freaking gumbo from like what? They're like. <laughs> Say you want to come over and eat what you're cooking? Some gumbo, chicken and sausage. After you taste that, you're like, you want to get married. <laughs> yeah, this, this person has a lot of doubt, too. They, would you blame them? They, this person probably, their heart was crushed, most likely. And I'm going to tell you, em, empath individuals are a light for and when you are a light, when I say you are a light for, for, to heal people, empaths heal people. Empaths are, are, people are drawn to an empath, especially narcissists. Yes, them some bitches, boy. I want to grit my teeth. <laughs> but anyway. We are a light, and when you are a bright light, it attracts everything. It attracts everything. It ain't just one certain bug that's going to come towards the light. All of the bugs are coming. And I'm just saying, this person, obviously, this is a, I'm, this is a, from what I see here, an unbelievable individual, whoever this is. But just because this person is unbelievable individual does not, uh, uh, exempt them from having a lot of doubt over relationships. You you have doubts over a relationship also because of what happened to you. So don't hold that against somebody else. That you know they. I, I often say that people go into a relationship and they they hold that person that they 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 meet and they becoming familiar with. They hold them. Because of what happened to them before, they hold that person to a higher standard than they would the person that they were with. And it destroys a relationship before it even gets started. Anyway, let's go. Success. This person is successful. This is the center card of this spread. Successful. Don't know what it what. Don't know what what. But they are successful. Mm -hmm. they are successful even through the grief and the loneliness this person that's all they want is happiness that's all that matters to them now that's you know they just they just want to be happy this person is intelligent this person is a can don't know but they can be a family oriented individual why i say that because on this card they are dolphins. Dolphins are extremely intelligent. Extremely. They are emotional. Yes, dolphins in the spiritual world are emotional. They are pods. They, they believe in family. They believe in family. When two dolphins mate, and they were going to say marry, when two dolphins marry, sort of like pigeons, sort of. But in this case, there are some dolphins that step out. They get punished big time. Yeah, dolphins punish them. They punish them. Yeah, you don't. You, you can't be. You can't be stepping out on Miss Flipper. Mm -mm. No, no. What you doing, boy? Go step out on Miss Flipper. Peace. This is a very peaceful person. They, they are. I like this. I like this spread. This is like an unbelievable spread. And I promise you this is going to resonate with someone. This is most likely someone was like looking for this spread. They was like, 
<laughs> Thank God. We ain't there. Of course, we ain't finished. We got two more decks to go through. So, service. This person, oh, mm -hmm. this person helps, wants to help other people. In fact, they do help other people. Service, gratitude, abundance. This person is healthy. Man, I want to know. I don't want to know who this person is. I want to know who let this person go. Like, <laughs> damn, what? Are you kidding me? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's a dream come true right here. Hell. Mm -mm. Uh, I, I forgot what this deck is. And what I'm going to do, I'll show you this card. This is the back of the deck. I forgot what, what this deck is, but it's a, I call it my voodoo deck because it's got a mask on it and the Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras deck. Uh, but that's not it though. Okay, so I don't want y'all to go Googling Mardi Gras deck and voodoo deck because that's not it. I can't remember what it is. I bought this deck, been having it for a while. I just don't remember what it, what, and I don't have no box or nothing for it. Oh, man. Hold on just a minute. I done smudged my... Boy, I swear. Can't have nothing nice. I can't stand a smudged glass. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, I got my OCD tendencies, too. You know, when you start slurping coffee, panic. People panic. I got mine, too. The, this this the card. The first card come out. First card come out is expectant, helpful, and patient. We're going off of the last spread we just had. Of course, this could change. This spread is a different spread, different deck of cards. So it can change. And this is only one card, so we're going to flip another one. <laughs> we don't want to. This person is praying. Whoever you are, soul tribe, spiritual warrior, you are praying for that person. you like, that's what this is. Devotion, hope, and peace. That's what you like. Yeah. Lo, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of that sin, whoever that is in that other spread, quick. Yeah, we want them. <laughs> Hell, I want them. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling them, come brought up. I ought to wake up. Be like, girl, you ain't going to believe this, what I just read. Yeah. Contemplate and reflection. Contemplation and reflection. Devotion. Yeah, you, 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 these, this person is is wishing. Wish, hope, and a prayer. They wishing. They, they. In fact, who would? I'm gonna just say that. Who would? If you've been through any kind of trauma, if you have went through any kind of ghosting, separation, disconnection, through any kind of, you know, a relationship. Uh, Someone that got a mean mouth, abused you, physically or verbally. Hell, it, it's it's sometimes the verbal abuse is worse than than anything else. But uh, if because people say some mean things sometimes, extremely mean things that stick with you for the rest of your life, uh, you would hope for that. You would hope for that type of relationship. Very hard to find. Too, I'm gonna tell you, very 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 hard to find. That, what that is right there, I'm going to tell you, that is the qualities of an earth angel. That is the quality of a spiritual warrior. Blame, anger, and resentment. Whoever this is, is blaming themselves. You are blaming yourself. For something. Because this is you, soul tribe. I don't think that's the other person that was in that spread. I think this is you. Yes, love, hate, mixed emotions. Yes, you, you, you uh, undoubtedly you've had a lot of mixed emotions. You perhaps were in a relationship that was a love, hate type relationship. Yes, I think so. And that falls between these two cards. It splits these two cards. Devotion and reflection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
what whoever caused this is not in your life anymore. I can tell you that. Whoever caused this is not in your life any longer because blame and resentment is is next to this card and you you possibly at one time blamed yourself possibly you still blame yourself like why i put up with this shit for so long you know after the fact after somebody does that after they disconnect after they they disengage that's when you start to uh if you and you are a soul, soul tribe, spiritual army, earth angel. You go inward. You go inward and you begin to self-evaluate. It's like, why did I deal with this for so freaking long? What? I should have put a stop to that shit a long time ago. No. Yes. Surprise, shocked. This book. <laughs> yes, surprise, shock. And I, I don't mean to giggle, but... I giggle because I just said that you say to yourself and you go inward and you, you and that's part of it. It's like you in disbelief that you let this go on. Why didn't you stop it when you recognize the signs, the red flags that started going up? Why didn't you say, listen, this ain't working out. This is not what I want. And we are going to shut this down. Mm -hmm. We are. I'm fixing to press the emergency shutdown on this. Suffering and pain, it falls on top of blame, anger, and resentment. You, you, you were hurt. You got hurt in this situation. And I think you got hurt not just one aspect of it. I think you were hurt financially, emotionally. I think you were big time hurt spiritually. Spiritually. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so, physically. Some people, because within the physical realm of being hurt, there is a mental aspect to it. It don't fall under emotion. It falls under the physical part of it. And because you get hurt physically, your mental health begins to break down and it breaks down everything else that's within you. Your entire body begins to break down. Isolated, depressed, and alone. My goodness, boo, you was like... And when I say boo... Cross gender, okay? That's like non genders, but yeah, my partner could be my boo too. Yeah. You know, some people think that boo just means a female. No. No, that's my boo. My partner over there. That Harley Rod. Yeah. It, that's my boo. But yeah, when I say that, I mean, like, damn, boo, you, 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 like, who, you were stressed and pressed. You, you. You got it bad, golly. You definitely didn't deserve all of that. Isolated, depressed, suffering and pain, isolated, depressed and alone. Too much and it was unbearable. You see what I'm saying? Too much and unbearable. You And that falls on top of shocked and then disbelief. Surprise. You surprise you. Why did you deal with this for this long? And I'm talking about, yeah, a lot of years. I'm talking about a few years, this right here. We, we're not finished with this row right here, but we, this is a decade right here. You, you could have been, and it don't have to be, I'm just saying, that this could have went as long and beyond that. Uh, it could go beyond that. Some people put up with, you know, some people are so committal. They believe in commitment, okay? Because you love someone. You, you really love someone. And because you love someone, that's all part of it. You are committal. You believe in the commitment. That's what love is. Sacrifice. That's part of the sacrifice is you deal with some shit sometimes you shouldn't have to deal with. That is part of the sacrifice. You're like, damn, you know, I love this person, so I'm going to, for better or for worse. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. And you just put up with this for a long time. Long time. And then, one day, whoever this is, 
They're non-committal. They were never committed. They were never committed. One day, I'm just going to throw this out. That doesn't mean that it is, but 30 years into the making, 30 years into the marriage, 30 years into the relationship, 20 years, whatever the case, 10 years. This is 10 years right here. 10 years within into this making of a relationship. This person decides, I'm, I'm done. I'm, 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 I'm leaving. If it's a female, I done got booed up with somebody else. I'm gone. Uh, I'm, grass was a lot more green over there, so I'm gone over there. If it's a male, they same thing, same scenario. That you know, it's somebody that is more interesting. You know, it's like. Uh, just a terrible situation. Terrible. Disinterested and bored. That's what <laughs> you. You. That's what they said. They said that you were like, I'm just not interested in it no more. I don't want to be here no more. Not you. Them. Them. They said that. I don't want to be here no more now in the event this person would want to return. We're talking of not about this person in this spread. We're talking about the person that was in your life. That's not in your life anymore. Disconnected, disengaged, discontinued. <laughs> yeah. Now you are the one that will be disinterested. Mm -hmm. Bored. They're like, you're boring. I'm sorry. Not sorry. Stressed. You see, I said stressed a while ago. Wow, imagine that. Stressed and pressed. You, and it falls on top of pain, suffering and pain. You were like, this person put, whoever this is, whoever this is put you in a struggle that was unbelievable. They put you in a struggle that you didn't think you was going to be able to come out of. When they disconnected from you, that was like the ultimate betrayal and the ultimate you couldn't believe it if they stepped out with someone else. If they stepped out, you, you definitely like, what? You got to be kidding me. You put my ass in a struggle all these years, whatever the case is, over and over again, and you're going to step out with somebody that ain't done shit for you, nothing. Maybe just gave you a wand, a thumb drive put in your port. Really? Yeah, no thank you. I'm good. <laughs> but you are optimistic. God damn it, we're turning it around. I'm glad. Oh, Lord, I'm so happy we're turning this around. you optimistic and you positive and you open-minded. Yeah, stay open-minded because you got that other, that other person over there. Yeah, and that other spread. I should have left that spread. I could have. Oof. Yeah, thank goodness. Yeah, oh yeah, and you brave too. You bold. You you're a brave individual. Sometimes people don't understand how brave they are until something like this happens. Mm -hmm. Some people are awakened to that that courage that they need to survive, because that is the most primal instinct there is: survival. And people, when you put them in that kind of position in that kind of situation. Yeah, it's not something that they, they used to. It's not something that they ever want to be in again, but they survive. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it just takes some encouragement from a spiritual guidance person. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of help from someone that is going to give them a nudge. Or when they're drowning, when they're underwater, pick them up and just let them catch a breath. Give them a little bit of help, and they're going to be on their way. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the salt takes is an ear lesson and to encourage them. Just show some love. Just, just show somebody that you care. Calm, surrender, and relaxed. Wow. You are now. At one time, you were stressed, and on this end of this row, 
is stressed and the first card out was stressed and pressed worry the next card after that was optimistic it began to turn you began to turn you found your footing you you begin to say once and once it turns and you begin to gain a little bit of confidence it's on then it's on yep love she just show them a little bit of love Yes, this person has an immense amount. You have an immense amount of love and infatuation. I'm telling you, there is a relationship in 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 this. This is the same thing, similar. It it they just have some toxic energy within this spread that it has to show itself because it has to explain why these two spreads are going to connect. And three three cards right here. Is the reason why patient I mean expectant hopeful and patient devotion hope and peace this she's praying she's praying this person not only was praying for uh, perhaps now a relationship perhaps they met somebody but they were praying for some relief some help and maybe there was an earth angel that came along and that's who they fell in love with is that earth angel same thing. Reflection and contemplation. They remember. They remember. You want you want to find someone that's very grateful. You find someone that's been through the fire. They've been burnt. They 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 have been burnt and they are going to be extremely grateful after that because they know what it's like. Yeah. You find someone that been at that uh let's see what's on the bottom of that oh confusion unsure this could be you remorseful guilt and melancholy yeah you see i think this is you it is you it's not it has to be elated passionate and excited you are satisfied and confident this is you at one time you were you were confused it shows a lady inside of a store where they got groceries perhaps you struggled this person put you in a struggle situation where you didn't know if you could pay your bills or not. And, and eventually you, you gained your footing and you did. You were confused and you were unsure on what to do, how to do it or, or you know. And then, like I said before, remorse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You sorry that you let this go on for as long as you did. After you come out the fire, Smelling the smoke, charred, burnt. You're like, this will never happen again to me. Ever. This will never happen again to me. The first red flag that goes up, we're going to open the door and we're going to invite them to leave. I can assure you that this will not happen. <clears throat> we are. The next one we're going to do is the... If I can find out the, the, the name of it, I'm going to have to, to try to research where I got that, that. What's the name of it? I forgot I forgot the name of it, and I don't have no box or anything when it comes to that. Uh, two of Cups. Two of Cups, yeah. Hmm. We're starting off pretty good, I guess. Let's, but we're going to flip a couple more. Today. Oh. Ace of Wands in the upright. Two of Cups in the upright also. Ace of Wands in the upright. I'm, I want to flip another card. The Chariot in reverse. Ace of... The, the, the two of Cups. is Somebody is going to... I'm getting this is someone else. This is not that person. This is a friend. In, in this spread, this was a friend. And within that friendship, there was a relationship that started to develop. And you are loving that, that friend. This friend is a person that you love. Where is it at? But it's in here. I know that. I've, uh, yes, this person was empath empathy. They have empathy. They have an empath. 
Yes, they're very disciplined, trustworthy, relationship, love, and friendship. Right here. This person is not, this is not this person. I'm going to tell you that right now. Hmm. So how you know that, Capri? This person is coming with an offer. Two of Cups. They want to make you an emotional offer. That the Ace of Wands is a passion. In this spread right here already, I can see this. This is a passion-oriented uh, card. This and uh, it is a sexual card. Let's let's put it this way. This is a sexual. Uh, situation this offer could include the ace of wands which is the wand in this situation is the sex sexual part the intimate part of it and the chariot in reverse right here is is it they are pushy they're assertive they 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 it's one of those situations where they don't have any self-control they've they will, uh, temptation is, they, they don't know how to say no. You do, but they don't. Be very careful with this situation right here. I'm, I'm just going to say. Because charity in reverse can be aggression too. Assertive and aggressive at the same time. So this person may not, you know, no might not mean no with this person. No, be careful with this. Whoever this is, male or female, doesn't matter because they got some females out there that are very aggressive and uh, um, are extremely assertive. Yes. Be very careful with this. I'm going I'm to just say that. We're going to flip some more cards. Hopefully this will, will change up. And uh, oh, uh, Knight of Wands in reverse. Knight of Wands lands on top of the Ace of Wands. No, I'm sorry. Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, Knight of Swords. I thought I, I think I said that. I mean, I thought I had said the Ace of uh, the Knight of Wands, but the Ace of it lands on top of the Ace of Wands. Knight of Wands in reverse. Hmm. This person got a bad. I'm telling you. Let's see what else. Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh no. 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 If this one of them situations where you my daughter, I'm going to escort this son of a bitch out the house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is not a good two cards. This, so far, is not a, a, I don't like this spread at all. No, no, no. No, oh, oh, he oh hell no. You see, because you see the, the Knight of Swords is a very quick moving card. It's, they, they in a hurt, they want, they, they, they put pressure on you. They try to pressure you. They rude and they hurtful. They, 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 this, that is not a good card. And next falls next to the devil in reverse. Devil energy, this person carries an immense amount of, they, they conflict. Uh, they are antagonistic. They, they imbalanced. The devil and the upright is someone that, Mentally not, they throw it off a little bit. They they could be like a little bit throw it off, you know. So they mentally imbalanced. This one in reverse, guess what? Imbalanced carries the same effect. This person is not wrapped up too tight, you know. They, who, you got to be careful with this. This don't look good. This is not the same person. This person, you got two different energies within this spread right here. This is a different spread, but this you you approaching. There's someone else that approaching you that is going to make you an offer. Mm -hmm. And there's we got the Knight of Wands in the upright falls next to the Devil energy. Knight of Swords is 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 running towards this Devil energy. Devil energy falls right between these two knights. This knight is running towards the devil energy. This knight is running towards the devil energy. What, and what that is saying is they 
This card, the Knight of Swords, is a card of hurry. They in a hurry. It's a fast moving night. It's very fast moving. They want to. Whatever their objective is. Ace of Wands, if it's passion, intimacy, they want to hurry up and get that done. Let's get this knocked out. Ooh. Yes. Be like, slow down, centimeter, Peter. Slow down. Just saying. And I'm just using that. It could be a female. Okay. This this cat may be like way too much in a hurry. If intuition, choose your intuition. Gut feeling. Yes. Yeah. This person got an objective. The Knight of Wands on this side of the devil energy. Again, a hurry card. This is a fire sign, Sagittarius. Right now we got Capricorn, Sagittarius uh, in this spread. Uh, Aries, Leo, again. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, air sign in this one. It. This is like, hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Oof, I don't like this break. I'm ready to shut this down right now. <laughs> nine, nine of Cups in reverse. Nine of Cups in reverse is wish fulfillment. This person is not a wish fulfillment. This person is not that individual. This is someone else. This may be the uh, your your ex. This may be your other person. That's who this may be. This may be someone that if they see you with that person, they're going to get jealous and they want to come come, uh, like make an offer because they're jealous because they see you over here with Superman. Superwoman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they see you over here with this person. They And this, this cat over here is this this man, they like an earth angel. This one right here, that's the devil. They got the devil energy right there in the middle of the deck, the middle of the spread. Mm -hmm. It don't what, be like down. Yeah, this nine of cups, nightmare. That's what that is. Nine of cups, nightmare. In reverse. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Man. This ain't good. Ooh. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. This person is a nightmare. They will bring unhappiness and destruction to your life. And the Ace of Pentacles falls right between it. And <laughs> falls right on top of the Knight of Swords in reverse. Devil in reverse. Right on top of them two. I got to tell y'all that ain't good. Let's see what we got here. Page of Cups. I can already tell you this person going. This is. Uh, they're going to need. They're going to need. See. Intuition. See on top of this deck right here. Let me see where it's at. On here. See right there. It says intuition. I said a while ago. Use your intuition when it comes to this person. And I'm getting the feeling that this is a past individual that you know. You know this person. You know them. With this spread right here, this person is coming in. And the page is a another offer. Or, or they they want to get something from you. The, they coming in at the bottom down here with the two of cups, two cups together. They want to make you an offer, and they want your cup. They're gonna give you that cup, yo, and y'all are gonna share emotions, y'all. It's it's a you're gonna fall in love with this individual. What they think? Yeah, it ain't gonna happen. I can tell you that right now. I, I can already. This ain't gonna happen. You're going to back out of this in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, this person's going to need, this person needs some help. This started out with a spread that we, we have an earth angel 
a spiritual warrior that's going to come into your life. And I think they're already in your life. Honestly, it, because it said it, it's a friendship, a relationship, and you're going to love this person. Doesn't mean that you're going to be intimate with this person. Not right away. I think eventually you will. Mm. Well, I think eventually you're going to get your toes curled, boo. Mm. Yeah. But this person ain't going to drive this person like bad shit crazy. This right here, because this person needs, they just, they need your support. They need your they they need you emotionally they need you this is has the narcissistic this this like got so much narcissism in it that it's bleeding on to me i'm feeling a little narcissist right now god damn it i have to go take me a shower with some salt get that off of me that demon yeah whoa uh mm. oh no six of uh six of wands in the reverse Six of Wands in the reverse. This person was, this person's a failure. This person has done nothing but failed in their life. They are a failure. They think they are a failure too. They come off as what, you know, they bougie and they all that. What am I saying that? But male or female. This is not gender specific. It could be. They, they, they are a disgrace. Yes. The Six of Wands is a, in the upright, is a very successful individual. Someone that is winning. They are, they are at the pinnacle of their life. Everything they touch, they Midas. If they touch it, it turns to gold. That person right there, no. They are, mm -mm. no. That person is nothing but... Failure. They got a lot of options too. They have had. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's just. They've been with a few. Yeah, they got a lot of miles on them. Yeah, they 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 one that one that thumb drive done. They they they've been used like a rental car. Oops, I don't mean it like that, but I'm just saying they've like been a, yeah, they they they've been that been that done that they, show. Yes, multiple. The seven of cups is a in this spread. This, yeah, understand when we're talking about spreads in this spread right here. The way I'm interpreting this is there. This could be different things in different spreads. The seven of cups is is many options is choices that they had and all of those options were choices anybody that they've been with was a choice they they chose to do what they did you have to understand that that's why this this card this failure card came up they have failed with everyone they've ever been with you were the best thing that ever happened to this person this person over here is the best thing that's going to happen to you so when you get a hold to this person, if you know who this person is, and I think you may, I may you, I think you may have an idea. And if you don't, you're gonna run into. Oh yeah, you're gonna you're going to run into this person maybe at a church social, at a potluck dinner, or something. And this person is going to. You are going to fall in love with this individual. The lovers in reverse. Mm. Again, this is the lovers in reverse. Uh, that is why this card is here because this person has so many options. They played the field. The grass was greener. They took up. That they, they 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 stepped out. You know, and this I hate to even. It's just. It, it's a terrible situation right here. Terrible situation. Hmm. Yeah. The lovers in reverse is this is you and this person did disconnected because of trust issues. There were some trust issues here and you it's just a fact. It lands on top of intuition. 
your intuition told you what was going on and you believe your intuition no matter what no matter what they said no matter how what they they denied it doesn't matter you believe your intuition it lands on top of the page of cups and you like i'm good i'm good and i i don't know what to say but this we we did three three decks the knight of cups in the upright this person is going to come to you with a romantic offer whoever this is they are going to approach you with a offer of, with of romance i've changed i'm not the same person anymore whatever the case is and it's the only thing i'm going to tell you is this uh, guard your heart be careful be very careful Be very careful. That is my opinion. I don't give advice. I will not give you advice. That is my opinion. Bad news. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is, is this, this person is irresponsible. And what that is, when the Page of Pentacles came out after the romantic offer of the Knight of Cups, this person approaches you on a white horse, a beautiful gray stallion holding their knight, their, their chalice of emotion, and they're offering to you, looking like they're all that and then some. What this is, is saying that this person ain't changed. The page of cups, the page of pentacles in reverse is this person hasn't changed. Mm-hmm. And that's all I'm saying is be careful. I'm not saying not to. I'm not saying I don't think that they will. I don't think that you will. I think that you may. You may talk to this person. You may uh, be friendly with them. Yes, this person will pour out emotions. They may even become emotional with you. When I say emotional with you, they may uh, get upset and cry. Uh, perhaps asking for forgiveness uh, but you are in that queen of swords energy this is the bottom of this day you're in that queen of swords energy and no you see two of swords you are not you are that two of swords in this spread would be you are blocked no the answer is mm -mm. for this card it says maybe I can tell you right now, this is going to be a, mm -mm. I don't see it happening. The world in reverse. Next card. World in reverse. Lack of success. Holy Spirit it just spelled it all out. I mean, I, and like I said, I, I hate to apologize because I feel like I need to because it's always coming up this Toxic individual is always going to come up for some reason. We start off with an unbelievable spread with an earth engine, whatever the case is. I mean, this person is, and then you end up with this. You end up with this. But we'll take it. Holy Spirit thinks we need to hear it, so we'll take it. And it was a good reading regardless. We went through three decks, and we enjoyed ourselves as we always do uh, I didn't drink no coffee tonight I already drank no coffee so but uh, I have a, a couple of questions Mary Mary asked me this a few times already and I, I I need to address her I listen to your readings every day thank you Mary I love you boo for doing that I got a question please help me get closure I don't know what happened to my son and something happened to her son. Her son uh, uh, transitioned to a, another dimension. <clears throat> and I can feel her emotion. I feel her emotion with this. I want you to understand something, Mary. I would love to be able to help you. I would. I have some links on in my description. Please go to one of them. Go to Tyene uh, uh, Enlightened uh, 
uh, auntie uh, go to one of them and request that they what the request that you made from me request it from them and let me tell you why I can't open this box this is a Pandora's box if I if I do this it's like reading it's like uh, reading someone's spiritual numbers you cannot imagine I've done it for a few people you cannot imagine how many people now want me to read their numbers that's why I I, uh, I have to set boundaries when it comes to that if if I don't it can get become overwhelming for me um, so please forgive me I it uh, I, I'm not the type of person that I don't want to say no but I have to I don't have a choice I can't do for one and not for others and uh, but I love you, Barry. Uh, Jessica. Cap, I've tried to... Uh, and here's another one. Uh, I've tried to no avail to get you to give me a personal reading. Why won't you do personal readings? Again, as a Pandora's box, if I open that box up, Jessica, there's, it will. I will be inundated because I don't charge... Okay? I do not make a dime off of what I do. And there are other readers on my description. There is a ton of other readers out there. That's what they do. That is their livelihood. Is to read for people. Okay. I can't take from them. If I do it. Everybody's going to come to me to get a free reading. A personal reading. It's going to be free because I don't charge. It's not right to them. I can't do that to them. I love I love my 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 peers. I love those that my readers that that we are our community. I wouldn't do that, and I wouldn't want them to do it to me. You know, I want them to encourage people to watch me, and whatever I make will give to charity. That's what, I want them to do that. Just like for me, I do the same thing. I will not. I I'm sorry, Jessica, but I will not give a personal reading. Because if I did, it wouldn't be fair to others that want one. And there, I promise you, there is a shitload, a world, a dump truck load of people out there that would want one. Because it is, I do them free. I don't, I do not make a dime off of this. So please, please understand why. I, 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 I don't know what to say. I love you to death, but I, I just can't. Um, and it's, I, I, I don't want to let nobody down, but uh, just like this, crazy, I, I, I don't even know how you say it, but crazy, uh, crazy in, ends and I'm not even going to try. She, she says, she, no, I don't know if she or he, but it's in a, a dream. And I do dream interpretations. I, of course I do. You've heard me do it. Once you do this, this is not even a request right here. They was just making a comment about a dream that they had. But I'm going to tell you this. It's about a dream that there was in a group of people, a lot of people involved. And those people were mad. And there was some white feathers. I'm just going to give you some uh, uh, bullet points within that comment. There was some white feathers, and they had a a, a preachy father figure, and uh, uh, something about they wanted their attention. And when you, when it comes to that, uh, and please, this wasn't a question, so I'm just giving you something of of This person did not do this with any intent on getting me to interpret their dream is what I'm saying. I'm just doing this, one, because I want to get to 11-11 and to, uh, they sweet and they, they I, I'm just going to do it. So, uh, but when you in a dream, inter and I do love uh, doing dream interpretations, um, 
but it, it is time consuming sometimes. Uh, when you, uh, in a in interpretation of when you're in a lot of people or within your group of people, it, it could be that, that you are being pushed into a new direction. It could be that you are um, uh, in a group, the group is a bunch of friends and you're not happy with those friends. The uh, white feathers can mean uh, that you are, you should seek spiritual counsel, meaning uh, go spiritually, go spiritually, seek the spiritual path. Your guides, your spiritual guides are pushing you towards that spiritual path. That's what the white feathers could mean, ancestral protection angels things like that uh, the father figure when it comes to that can mean a, a few things it, it could mean and because of the group of people in that dream I'm taking it more like it's a the father figure is a position of anxiety like you you uh, you stressed or you worried about uh, a choice a decision you need to make about something Possibly uh, some expectations that are not being met, and and you you can be upset about it. And you know it, but it is what it is. I hope that man, I I, I don't want to disappoint anybody. I really don't. Mary and Jessica, please go to my description. I have some wonderful readers on my and. YouTube is full of readers that uh, are way better than I am, way more gifted than I am. And I do appreciate everyone that loves me and says all of the nice things that they do, but they got others out there that are way better than me, way better. And uh, I'm just a country boy that has a YouTube channel that I I, I just, I'm trying to do some good with it. Um, so please understand. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to make it to a minute. I mean, an hour and 11 minutes. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to shut it down. God loves you. And I'm going to get this uploaded. God loves you. He wants to talk to you. I love you, Don. Big time. Big, big. I promise you I do. Thank you for all of the support you give me this channel um, it, you cannot imagine how much I appreciate what you do and the things that you when it comes to comments and your understanding and your patience you cannot imagine how much I appreciate that I may not be able to do a video later today I may have to wait because we have two boats that we are working right now and that's six barges and so they could be about three days worth of uh, maybe even more than that of uh, because probably by the time maybe we're going to have another boat that's going to show up so anyway uh, I hope you enjoyed the reading and I am going to shut this down peace out